video transitions usually look like this or like this or even like this but your audience might have seen these kind of transitions already but what if you could have transitions as beautiful as this instead or as interesting as this or as absorbing and deliberate as this or something even more fancy like one video painting on top of another like this. In this video, I'll show you how to create these kind of stunning transitions with minimal effort with just one tool in Camtasia. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative presentation ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. When it comes to video transitions, there is no doubt that Camtasia has a vast collection of native transitions that look really professional. But what you're about to learn today will give you even more freedom to choose the kind of transitions you want. And more than anything else, this tutorial will help you understand one of the most important tools inside Camtasia called MediaMat. In one of my earlier tutorials about how to create a circular talking head video of yourself, we explored one of the functionalities of MediaMat called Alpha. In this video, we will explore the other functionality of MediaMat called Luminosity. It is that one simple tool that will allow you to create all these magical transitions. So let us jump right in. To help you understand what Luminosity in MediaMat is, I'll give you a simple example. Let me insert a shape here on this video. As you can see, one half of the shape is white, other half is black. Let me place this so that it covers the entire video. Now let me insert another track below this track of mine. So there are two video tracks here. The top one is called the top track or T. The bottom one is called the bottom track or B. Now let me apply media mat on this shape. Let us go to visual effects. Here you find media mat. Click and drag it on the shape. And there we have our media mat applied on the shape. Now we need to make a change here for the mode. Let me change from alpha to luminosity. Now observe what has happened here. When I play, you can see that both the videos are playing simultaneously, the top track and the bottom track. The thing I want you to notice the order in which these tracks play. Let me switch off the media mat here. You can see wherever there are white pixels, we have the top track shown and wherever there are black pixels, we have the bottom track shown. So the simple acronym that I want you to remember is WTBB. That is white pixels, top track, black pixels, bottom track, WTBB. This acronym will come in quite handy as we move forward with different effects. Let me switch the media mat again. Now, if I want to switch this order, I can go to the other option called luminosity invert. In this case, White pixels would mean the bottom track and black pixels would mean the top track. So let us go back to the original order, which is WTBB. Now that we understand the basics, let us take this one level up. Now, instead of this static shape, I'm going to insert a video piece. Let us delete this and let me go here to the media and we have this asset. Let me double click on it so you can see the preview. We have black pixels on which there is white pixels coming in. So let us apply this track right above this and then let us apply media mat to this. Let me go back to visual effects, media mat and I apply here and let me change this to luminosity. Now, as we move through this video, we will see how WTBB plays. Now you see we have the bottom track shown. As we move forward, you can see that the top track is entering the scene and this is how the transition happens. Can you see here? In our original video, we had black background and white smoke coming in. Since B corresponds to B, we have the bottom layer shown and the top layer is entering the scene like this. Let me show you this with another example. Let me delete this track and let me use another media. This time I'm going to use this media piece here. Let me double click to see the preview. You can see black background and white is being painted over. Let me place this video right on top of everything. Now this dialog box asks me if I can keep the project at 30 frames per second. I say, okay, so continue. Now WTBB, we have black shown. So when we apply luminosity, we will have the bottom layer shown. And then when the white paints over, we will have the top track paint over. So let us apply media mat, 
go here change it to luminosity this is black pixels so the bottom track now the top track is being painted over the bottom track and we have this beautiful transition by the way all these clips that i'm using now are taken from techsmith assets for camtasia i searched for videos footage and i searched for alpha channel here and i could see a whole bunch of options of course you will have some free transitions like this available on the net but as you can imagine since they are free your options will be limited if you want a larger collection of these alpha channel video assets you can go to techsmith assets for camtasia we have a special 10% discount code in the description box below in case you decide to subscribe to techsmith assets for camtasia by the way if you like what you see and you want to try these effects for yourself you can download a free trial of camtasia by clicking on the link in the description box below once you are convinced that this is the right program for you to create professional quality video tutorials you can make a purchase of camtasia using the discount code in the description box below you will get a 10% off now coming back to our tutorial i'll show you how to use these video pieces practically to create professional transitions let me remove this let us say we have two video tracks for which we want to apply a magic transition the first video clip is that of these people walking the second one is that of me talking now i'm going to use the portion that ends somewhere till this totally goes white i can go frame by frame and just take the piece till that let me delete the rest of the portion by clicking on s i have split this and i'm going to delete the rest so we have this piece can you see here this is the media piece we are going to use for transition so i'm going to keep this piece right above in such a way that the right edge of this and the old track correspond and the left edge of this and the left edge of this piece correspond essentially what we have done is we have kept the overlapping portion just to match this piece here now when i turn on the media mat and the luminosity observe what happens as we click this is how the bottom one shows and as we play we have the second track continuing let me do that again we have the old track now as i scrub the timeline you can see that white is drawing over black otherwise the top layer is drawing over the bottom layer and the transition happens now let me show you one final example which is the other way around you can see that this is the old track and it needs to transition to this new track and we are going to use a magic transition the one that i'm going to use is the ink droplet that i showed you earlier i'm going to place this over here the way this track works is like this as i move forward i'm going to keep till the point where black completely spreads over and covers the entire scene and i'm going to press s and delete the remaining portion now white is by default which is the top layer will be shown and the bottom layer will be seen through so i am going to first ensure that the right edge of this corresponds with the right edge of the top one and the left edge corresponds with the left edge of this piece here now you can see if i apply visual effects and go to media mat and place it over here and change it to luminosity when i scrub the timeline you can see that the top layer is being replaced by the bottom layer and we have this beautiful transition so go ahead and download your free trial of camtasia and try these beautiful effects and take your video creation to a whole new level Remember these kind of advanced effects are not available in any of the regular screen recording programs and that's what makes Camtasia so special try it out for yourself and see the difference